Well, I, I want to tell you right now that uh, Saline Crossing Regional Park Group um, is pleased to have Jerry Hevington as one of our lifetime members. Jerry is a retired member of the Arkansas State Highway Department, but he's got another career uh, working on, and that's artistic rendition. This particular showing right here is a scale model of the area where the Old River Bridge crosses the Saline River. And if you know anything about the area, there's also a railroad bridge in that same general area. So he volunteered to do that for us, and we saw it for the first time yesterday. Some of his items, and he does a beautiful pen and ink uh, renderings of historical and, uh, and other sites. So Jerry's the man. We got some video of some of his work last year. I know you did. Fine gentleman, I tell you what, he's got a he's got a great he's art. In a life of leisure. Now that's a highway department man that's actually earning his money right there. Right there. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's getting it right there. Yes, we videoed him last year, and he was talking about uh, when he st first started drawing and everything. He had to use like uh, anything he could find, paper yeah, and the such. Brown paper bags. Paper sacks oh, and the such, you know. It's pretty neat. I tell you what, you got some great work there, and you did the diorama also. So this is uh, really interesting of reference, Saline Crossing Group has been given um, about 10 acres of property um, lying both sides of the river. Our property line, I'll use the diorama here to, to explain it, our property line comes from about right here over across the river to that pier and then back this way. Our 10 acres is back this way, mm -hmm. both sides of the river. The intention would be, obviously, uh, we don't own this bridge, but we're hopeful that the county would uh, be willing to continue the promise to rehab this for a walking trail. We'll have nature trails on both sides of the river on our property uh, and park, uh, park facilities on both sides. Just recently, we got a $2,000 grant from the uh, legislature, mm -hmm. and we have two concrete picnic table sets on uh, order coming to us. And we'll have one picnic set put on this side, one on that side, and that will be the beginning of the family picnic area. So what will be on each side of the bridge in the such? On either side of the bridge, right. you'll basically have the same thing. We'll have, obviously, fishing, mm -hmm. boating, access to the river, nature trails, and picnicking areas for family-oriented outdoor recreation. That's what it's all about. That's what it's all well, about. Well, it's basically, uh, can you kind of give us a rundown of the history of the Old Saline River Bridge and the crossing there? Because basically that was the only way to go west, you know, well, back in the 1800s and the such. And it's, it's, it takes a long time to explain it because there's a lot of details, but here's the point. In 1815, when William Lockhart first came here, yes, sir. there was no real way to cross the river except to wait till the water goes down and try to get across on dry ground. For years and years that was the only way to cross the river. This river was a major obstacle along the Southwest Trail which was the migration route for all the new pioneers coming into the Louisiana Purchase area. The, the bridge itself was not built until 1891. Prior to that William Lockhart had a license to have a ferry to bring people across the bridge or across the river on a ferry. William Lockhart's operation obviously was not capable of taking big loads. In 1891, the bridge, this bridge became the only way that people could migrate from central Arkansas to Texas or to Texarkana area. This was the only way to get across the river. I-30 did not exist. What we call the Ed Dotson Bridge did not exist. This was what was called the new bridge, or the only bridge, and then there are other bridges coming later. The Ed Dotson Bridge was built by the State Highway Department in 1927. 1927. So from the early 1800s until 1927, this crossing was the only way for people to get toward Texas. What happened in Texas? In the early 1830s, remember the Battle of the Alamo? All of those freedom fighters came right through here on their way to Texas. We're talking about Jim Bowie, and he's here, by the way. Uh, and not Jim, but uh, Davy Crockett's here. We got Jim coming later. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but anyway, they crossed here. William Lockhart had an establishment that would uh, keep people overnight, sort of like a hotel, if you will, 
uh, I call it the Holiday Inn of uh, Saline Crossing. But he would uh, house people on their way to the southwest. Mm -hmm. This was the only way to cross the Saline River except in dry weather. Now, we've had a little rain in the last few days, and you go down the river, and we take people down there right now. Uh, it's amazing how much water actually goes through that river. And it comes up fast, but it kind of goes down pretty fast, too. But in the early 1800s, apparently there was a bigger problem with flooding and becoming impassable. And so nobody got to move when the water's out of the banks until they had the iron bridge. I don't know, that's maybe uh, three quarters of a mile from here. The county maintains this road even yet because at the end of the road is the bridge, is the river, but it's also the water pump for the Arkansas Health Service water intake. And that's originally how the health service, how the state hospital got their water. They had their own water treatment plant <clears throat> back up there at the uh, center. On either side of this roadway all the way down to the river is private property. On one side you have uh, hay fields or you may have a sod farm. And most of them nowadays have a fence and or a gate or both trying to keep the intruders, the poachers, the vandals, and the screwballs from tearing up the property. And it's sad to believe that people will just, I don't know. Where were the Indian mounds on this side of the river? We won't be able to go directly to an Indian mound, but I'll show you the roadway that would lead through several locked gates to go down to the Hughes Mound. Yeah. This, this property over here on this side of the river at one time was the Hughes Farm. There's a monstrous amount of property all along this side of the river. The Indian Mound, it was, it is called the Hughes Mound. There is another mound up river, but I'm not familiar with it. I've been to the Hughes Mound. When I was a kid, I was all over that area. Is that Ken Hughes? Is he a descendant? No, I don't think it's directly with uh, with uh, Ken. It may be, but um, let me see. What's his name? Went to school with him. I'm sorry. The original owner's name was Green B. Hughes, and he was a very prominent politician uh, about the time of statehood. And I'll talk about him when we talk about the bridge a little bit. But Richard Hughes, you may know him. Um, he worked for Jingles for a while. Um, he was a descendant of this Hughes group. Now, Ken may be too. I don't know for sure. Well, Miss Helen had spoken one day at Sunday school that of her family, the Ancestors Farm. Uh, okay. Hughes Ancestors Farm. So I wondered if it might be the same. Well, very likely could be. Hughes was very prominent in business and politics in uh, Benton and Saline County. In this area. There's some gates like that. People come in here with big vehicles and they tear those things down. Then they get out on their hayfield and just tear it up. Uh, it's crazy. This side farm on the left is Scott Newcomb and uh, poachers coming down shooting deer out of season and so forth. That's a big problem. There's legitimate deer uh, season, you know, that makes this a very nice hunting area. Poachers make it look bad for all the legal oh, yeah. hunters out there. They just really mess it up for everybody. Mm -hmm. Our project intends to develop a good management plan for this public use area so that you don't have things that threaten the security of the public. It'll be family oriented. You don't have a bunch of hooligan redneck carrying on, uh, you know, if you come down for a picnic or something like that. The Arkansas Health Service have certified law enforcement people on duty 24 hours a day. They patrol this area, but the uh, Game and Fish also patrols it, as well as does the county. Now, the county don't come down here very often. One of the problems that the private individuals have, they have equipment down here. And, you know, you can't move that tractor home every time you leave your field. But the vandals will come down here and, I mean, you can't imagine what all they can tear up. Um, they will tear that machine up within just a few days. How stupid can you get? 
Now, would this road eventually be paved or be left like this? Probably not for a long time. It will be maintained as a passable gravel road. On the other side of the river, it'll be a little bit easier access for the public, and we'll have a paved road, which will be River Street, coming right down to the river. Now, the road that <clears throat> goes through Lock Gates turns right here and heads toward the, the uh, Hughes Mound down through that way. But it's about a half a mile from the bridge down to the Hughes Mound. Well, is there a way, like, can you make an appointment or uh, schedule a time to go down to see? Uh, basically, it's private property. Okay. We have access. We have relationships where um, we can we can do what we need to do, but it's generally not. This is Bill White's field right here. His gate's been torn down a bunch of times. The deer stands there. That's good, but the poachers come too. Bill's original property was about 35 acres from here to the bridge. He donated five acres and we bought ten more, uh, five more acres to make our total land acquisition about 10 acres down here at the bridge. Actually, the property- On that this Bill, side of the river? Uh, both sides. Both sides. Uh, Bill's property includes that property where the bridge stands. We don't own the bridge, but we own the property that the bridge stands on. Ling Crossing Regional Park, group. Okay. There's a membership list, but uh, actively that is what we're talking about. This is the pump house for the uh, water intake structure. Our property on the left, we adjoin the property that belongs to Arkansas Health Service. 